side, Casey Andrews. Casey, that's going to be a great show. What a crowd we have here. Scott, you've already botched it. You almost made me interrupt, Dustin. It's the Western Fair District, Scott. So I'm going to need you to uh, apologize to the good people of London, Ontario. Here is the V guy hits the ring. Von Vertigo coming off a huge victory over Jake Something, riding literally a unmatched wave of momentum in Smash right now. Victories galore, really hitting his stride, and I mean championship opportunities need to be right around the corner for the V-Guy. Well, you would think so. If he can string a few more wins together, he'd become undeniable. He's got his work cut out for him here today, though. wrestling debut and Casey Von Vertigo has become a little bit of a, uh, a gatekeeper of sorts here in Smash Wrestling. A lot of people make their debuts they make it here against Von Vertigo and he is, uh, he's been holding on the foot pretty well. Well and not only is he a, a gatekeeper of you know uh, debuting athletes but also international athletes. You think about Axel Tischer and now Francesco Akira coming to us from Milan, Italy, a star of New Japan Pro Wrestling, a world travel competitor but Von Vertigo, to his credit, also relatively world travel. Well, very much so. Von Vertigo has done a, a few tours of Europe recently, and and now he's back here, back in Smash Wrestling, and he he is taking on all comers here. Hey, what's up, Von? How are we doing tonight? I came all the way from Italy, thinking today was a wrestling show, and I end up. Fans here. Wait, 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 wait. You know who the biggest loser is? This guy right here. Hey, hey, when I'm talking, you shut up, okay? When I'm talking, you shut up. I'm gonna beat this guy in two minutes and sending you for having a real life, okay? Yeah, that's a bold statement. He says he's going to beat Von Vertigo in two minutes. Two minutes. Do we have a timekeeper today? That's the question. Guys, if you have to get up and move the children, get up Opening and move contest the children. here. An opportunity for Von Vertigo to keep his winning ways going. Now you can hear this crowd as the opening bell. Further behind Von Vertigo, I think that's a lot to do with the, the, the speech that Akira just made. I mean, it wasn't really a way to win fans, but Francesco Akira, not one to be taken lightly here, and I think Von Vertigo knows that all too well. Von Vertigo takes nobody lightly. That's a, it's one thing for certain is that action begins now. Akira now forcing Vertigo into the corner. Referee calling for a break. Oh. We do not get a clean one. It's some stiff... Stiff chops to the chest there, Vertigo. Now, the problem here is the referee doesn't know how to count in Italian, so we got to be a little bit careful with these five counts here. A little bit of liberty's taken for Akira. But do you know how to count in Italian? No. Do you know how to count? No. Gregor Roman Nuggle Lock, not, not to be there, as Akira is just sucking him in there. A kick right to the midsection there. Now, we, we've discussed the pedigree of, of Vaughn Vertigo. We've talked about Francesco Akira all the way from Milan, Italy by way of New Japan Pro Wrestling, one of the hardest hitting organizations on the planet. And uh, it's gonna be a rough night for the V-Guy. Well, when you, when you competed in New Japan, you competed but against one of the best in the world, Casey, and it's, it, that has to make you a better performer when you're competing against the best. Both these men know all about Ooh. that. Nice trip there, taking the legs out from underneath Akira as Vertigo picks up the pace with a drop kick. Changing levels like only Von Vertigo can here. 
Standing moonsault connecting into a cover. Two kick out. We got to keep an eye on the clock. Francesco Akira gave himself two minutes here. We got to be getting close to that already, Scott. Well, yeah, I don't I don't think uh, he's, he stands a hoping that finishing off Vertigo in two minutes or less. That's uh, e easier said than done. I mean, especially not in his current position. He's not winning at the moment. Hanging on to the ropes and trying to change the momentum here. She's going for a timeout outside the ring. Do they have timeouts in Milan? He's, he's taking an knee as the fans are trying to get back in the ring. Francesco Akira here. It's a smart move. Listen, I... Well, he, he made himself a lot of enemies in the crowd. I don't think uh, any of them are going to feel sorry for him. I've employed the timeout in the past. I see oh. the bleachers and got punched right in the face for it. Another chop there. Because now this gets a little bit dangerous for the fans here in attendance. Especially the ones that have never seen Smash Wrestling before. They don't understand how dangerous this could be. Well, that's the beauty of coming to the uh, the Western Fair here in London. You never know what you're going to see. A lot of people showing up today didn't know there was a wrestling show. And now oh! the place is jam-packed as you see Akira now chopping the ring post. Might have broken some fingers. And maybe his metatarsals as well. Oh, and now he's forcing him to high-five some fans. This is, Akira does not want to be there. All Von Vertigo is trying to do is introduce the Smash Wrestling faithful to Francesco Akira and likewise. Vice versa, if you will. Sir. Action now back in the ring. Vertigo here looking for that shiny whiz. Oh, hold oh, on. The referee getting in the way as you see Akira has pulled the referee in there. He might be hurt. Do we have a medic on standby? Oh, hang on here. Taking a picture of the Italian soccer team faking the injury and then attacking Virgo from behind. It's pronounced football, Scott. But he was very convincing, and I thought his hand was very, very badly hurt. But it appears to be working just fine. Yeah, he showed us just fine here as he sends it right through the chest of Vertigo. And now blowing kisses to all the fans he just made. Imagine you go to the Western Fair and an Italian guy in velvet pants blows a kiss at you. You tell someone about that, right? Oh! I mean, maybe. Ron Vertigo in the world of hurt right yeah, now. Yeah, now in firm control of Vertigo as he now just picks up a rope by the throat. Back to a vertical base here. Irish whip across the ring into the corner. Head of steam right in the boot of Vertigo as Vertigo again picks up the pace. Oh! Caught with that back elbow. I don't think he fully shook the cobwebs. Two kick out. Take one more look at this. Oh! Like elbow. a shotgun. Elbow right to the jaw. And now he's in firm control once again. Trying to slow down Vertigo here with this headlock. Precision is difficult at that speed. Both men were moving very fast on that back elbow, Scott. And the fact that Akira was able to land that right on the point of the jaw... That's maximum maximum impact. Oh, it's, it's a wonder how Vertigo wasn't knocked unconscious from that. As you, you hear the crowd now, but oh! behind Vertigo, he's starting to get back to Vertigo base with a handful of hair. Devil's advocate, that's a smart move. It is, I, I mean, it is smart. The referee maybe. didn't didn't ring the bell, didn't disqualify him, so I guess he got away with it. Maybe Vertigo should go to one of those barbers in North Haverbrook, Ontario, and get that mop taken care of. Drop right to the chest. Oddly specific town to go get a haircut. Look at me, I'm Von Vertigo. I have beautiful hair. Shut up. Drop right to the chest. There's Vertigo oh. now. Turning momentum back into his own favor. Here, here. Back and forth these two go. Close like just crumples. Crumples Vertigo. And it looks like the top of his bicep, Akira's bicep, caught Vertigo again right on the chin. You've only got so many hits to that off button before it's lights out for the night. Well, we've officially passed that two-minute mark. And then some. But Akira is in firm control right now. Well, firm control is in the win, so I, I guess he's going to have to you know, take that into account next time he makes a two-minute prediction. Now shots here. Forearm right to the face here in an uppercut. Kedex, but again, just to cut him right off there with that knee right to the midsection. Fast paced action. These here. two, these two are going counter for counter, Casey. Ooh! Kick right out of the air. Both men down. Credit to Vertigo. He saw the flying attack coming and was able to time it just right. 
Looking to get some momentum moving here. That clothesline here in Vertigo. He's got that look in his eye, Casey. He's got that killer instinct about him. We, we saw this happen with Jake Something, where Vertigo found that second gear, and we all know how that turned out. Massive victory for the V guy. He's looking to do more of the same here. If you're knocked out the apron, up and over goes Vertigo. Throwing caution to the wind. As we take another look here. You hear me talk about it all the time, Scott. Momentum. Using your momentum to get that speed and, and power with a top rope Vertigo, dive here. Vertigo on top looking for that cross body. Wow. Vertigo cross body recovered. Two, is that enough? No. no. Akira able to get the shoulder up. Let's take another look at the cross body. Vertigo here just getting all of that one. All the hops. Impressive after the amount of damage he's taken to be able to get that kind of air. Speed plus distance equals power. And he got a lot of power behind that one. Came off like a rocket off that top rope. Still trying for that shining wizard, though. That yeah, fatal knockout. Nobody home, though. Well scouted there by Akira. And oh, no! Thumb right to the eye! Come on! And now he's looking at the ref like, what did I do? There's, there's a small portion of me that loves to see that sort of action. You know, it's, uh, it's smart, if nothing else. I've heard about that small portion of you. Irish whip into the corner here. How is your girlfriend? Out to the outside goes Von Vertigo here. Back up to the top rope. Looking for that Vonton. Nobody home. Akira seems to be once in head. Uh-oh. Pulling the official out of the way. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Vertigo. Had a feeling that was coming. Uh-oh. Hold on now. Akira locks up the feet. Oh. oh stop. That got him right across the chest. Now Von Vertigo, remember, had appendicitis. Oh, wow. And that might be curtains. Scott, what the hell was that? Effective. Oh, come on. Into a cover. Vertigo kicked out of that. Wow. I I don't even know what to call that. It, it looked almost like a spinning Russian twist. I think Vertigo would like to call it painful. Yeah, I think, like, I think Akira wanted to call it the winning move, but it wasn't such... Low blow didn't work. When Akira can't believe it, what, what does that do to your psyche, Casey, when you hit someone with your best shot and it doesn't work and they kick out? At this point, and, and I mean, you've got to start thinking there's got to be nothing else you can really do. Oh, Vertigo out of the way at the last second here. Drops down. Oh! Oh! And a roaring punch right to the face there. Vertigo going up top. Is he thinking Vonton here? Akira's in position. Nails Vonton all of it. Bomb. And he's not done. Shiny Ooh, Wizard connecting into the all of that one. one. What? Wow, put Akira away, and he does. <laughs> put another win in the books for Vertigo. This guy is rolling. Well, in the Smash Wrestling crowd here, some of them, that was their very first ever wrestling match, and what a treat. All the credit in the world to Francesco Akira. What a phenomenal contest that was. Von Vertigo keeps his winning ways rolling. And you, you got to think he's easy. At this point, at least on the radar, Smash Wrestling Management here he in had, line for a title shot. I mean, he needs to be at this point. He's, he's proven himself. He's proven how hard he works. Proven that he's willing to go the extra mile or 10,000 miles in some cases, Scott, to get that. And the V guy, definitely a fan favorite here. So it's going to be interesting if he goes head to head with arguably the biggest fan favorite in Smash, it's Psycho Mike.